Well, as I said in an earlier video, some pubs will probably want you to prove your credentials to come in and have a drink. Well, I think I'm going to go off beer and whiskey and all the others, and I might try my hand at a little drop of the old vino. Now I need to find somebody with a good wine cellar. Hmm. Boris, what about you? How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Friday. Hope you're doing all right. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry when I saw this. The sheer hypocrisy and duplicity and sheer recklessness of this absolutely made me aghast with rage, laughter and every other emotion. We get in all this, aren't we? Where uh, you can't go down a boozer apparently now without proving your credentials. It started at the Gardener's Arms in Norwich and I'm sure it will spread around here, there and everywhere else like it does at Tesco's and Sainsbury's. But Boris has gone a little step further, hasn't he? Check this out. Well, it would appear that Boris and his chums have splashed out 73,000 of our public pounds on stocking up their wine cellar with the finest English and Welsh wines that money can buy. And what's more, they can't make a profit on any of it because of the pandemic. What a fucking liberty. You know, while all the rest of us are struggling, they're pleading, po pleading poverty by the day, cutting the foreign aid budget down to levels that a lot of people disagree with, they don't mind spending £73,000 of our money provided to them in taxes and everything else so they can all get pissed up in their private bars and not worry about anything else. What an absolute joke. I don't know about you, but this story makes my piss boil. It's yet again one rule for them and one rule for us. Joke. You know, there's nearly 33,000 bottles of wine down there. And last year alone, about 3,300 bottles of the stuff were drunk by MPs and God knows who that live in them circles. So while they're all getting pissed on our money, we're all frightened out here, wondering what's going to happen to our businesses, our livelihoods, whether it's safe to walk out the front door to the local shop to get some tinnies or our own bottle of wine at a tiny, tiny percentage of the price that they pay for theirs. You know, the average price of what they got in that cell is about 14 quid a bottle. It's an absolute piss take. It's an absolute liberty. And how long is these double standards going to go on? Probably forever and ever and ever. In my view, it's not going to stop. But we need to start waking up and seeing that this whole political establishment is a right fucking joke. They look down on us treat us with utter disdain and for what it's the rich boys club against the rest of us and it really has to stop what a joke anyway that's my rant done i'm going and i'll see you later on this is the gabby cabby signing off doo <laughs>